Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Father Growley. I'm Father Trace Browning from All Saints Church in Salt Lake City, Utah. So today we have a story about one of these creatures, and this is a Gila monster. Now, Gila monsters live in Mexico and also the southwest part of the United States. They are even found in Utah, in the very southern part of Utah, around St. George. Uh, Gila monsters look like this. And they have a big tongue that sticks out, or if that one's too frightening, there's a, a friendlier looking Gila monster. And uh, they don't hurt people or bears because they typically don't bite us because they move very slowly. So even though they look a little frightening, they really aren't. So uh, we have a great story, and it's called Gila Monsters Meet You at the Airport. It's a really fun story, and that's our story for this evening. Tonight's story, Gila Monsters Meet You at the Airport. It's written by Marjorie Weinman Charmat. Pictures by Byron Barton. Read by permission of Macmillan Publishing. Gila monsters meet you at the airport. I live at 165 95th Street, New York City, and I'm going to stay here forever. My mother and father are moving out west. They say, I have to go too. They say, I can't stay here forever. Out west, nobody plays baseball because they're too busy chasing buffaloes. You can see he's imagining chasing buffaloes. In fact, he's being chased by the buffaloes. There's cactus everywhere you look. But if you don't look, you have to stand up just as soon as you sit down. Ah! He sat down on the cactus. Out west, it takes 15 minutes just to say hello. Like this. Howdy, partner. And he's falling asleep. Out west, I'll look silly all the time. I'll have to wear chaps and spurs and a bandana and a hat so big that nobody can find me underneath. And I'll have to ride a horse to school every day, and I don't know how. Out west, everybody grows up to be a sheriff. I want to be a subway driver. My best friend is Seymour, and we like to eat salami sandwiches together. Out west, I probably won't have any friends, but if I do, they'll be named Tex or Slim, and we'll eat chili and beans for breakfast, and lunch, and dinner. I miss Seymour and salami. Chapter 2. I'm on my way out west. It's cool in the airplane, but the desert is so hot you can collapse. And then the buzzard circle overhead, but no one rescues you because it's real life and not the movies. There are clouds out the window. No buzzards yet. <laughs> you can see them out in the desert. I'm looking at a map. Before, whenever I looked at a map, I always knew my house was on the right, the right-hand side of the map in New York City. But no more. Now I'm in the middle of that map, and I'm going to the left, left, out west. Seymour says there are Gila monsters and horned toads out west, and I read it in a book, so I know it's so. But Seymour says they meet you at the airport. Gila monsters meeting him at the airport. 
chapter 3. We're here out west. I don't know what a Gila monster or a horned or horn toad looks like, but I don't think I see any at the airport. I see a boy in a cowboy hat. He looks like Seymour, but I know his name is Tex. Hi, I say. Hi, he says. I'm moving east. Oh, that's great, I say. Great, he says. What's so great about that? Don't you know that the streets are full of gangsters? They all wear flowers in their lapels, so they look honest, but they zoom around in big cars with screeching brakes, and you have to jump out of the way. There's all these gangsters, he's imagining. In the east, it snows and blows all the time, except for five minutes when it's spring and summer. And you have to live on the 50th floor. And airplanes will fly through your bedroom. And you've got to duck fast. They ran out of extra space in the East a long, long time ago. It's so crowded, people sit on top of each other when they ride to work. Look at how crowded the subway or bus is. And alligators live in the sewer. I read it in a book, so I know it's so. There's an alligator in the sewer that he's imagining. Then my mother and fa then the mother and the father of the boy who looks like Seymour, but isn't, they grab his hand and he goes off. Sometimes the alligators get out, he yells to me, and they wait for you at the airport. So he imagines alligators meet you at the airport. It's warm, but there's a nice breeze. We're in a taxi, riding to our new house. No horses yet, and I don't see any buffalo stampedes either. I see a restaurant just like the one in my old neighborhood. I see some kids playing baseball. Hmm. I see a horse. Hey, that's a great looking horse. I'm going to ask my mother and father for one just like it. Here's our house. Some kids are riding their bikes in front of it. I hope one of them is named Slim. Tomorrow, I'm writing a letter to Seymour. I'll tell him I'm sending it by Pony Express. Seymour will believe me. Back East, they don't know much about us Westerners. The end. So I hope all you partners here out West enjoyed our story, Gila Monsters Meet You at the Airport. Uh, Father Growley and I thought we'd do a little Western wear with the cowboy hat and the bandana. And uh, we're going to sing the song, Michael Row the Boat Ashore. And so uh, Father Growley also chose to be in a boat and wear his sailor hat. So uh, that's uh, what we're going to sing tonight. Uh, we've sung this before. The words are pretty simple. Michael Row the Boat Ashore, Alleluia. And then we change those words from verse to verse. Okay. Michael rode the boat ashore, Alleluia. Michael rode the boat ashore, Alleluia. Sister, help to trim the sail, Alleluia. Sister, help to trim the sail, Alleluia. Oh
So tonight's blessing reminds us that God is with us no matter where we are. God's peace is with us no matter where we are, no matter where we live. May the deep peace of the running waves be with you. The deep peace of the flowing air be with you. The deep peace of the quiet earth be with you. The deep peace of the shining stars be with you. May the peace of God be with you this night and always. Amen. Good night, everyone. May God bless.